Once you guys got another video, Microsoft now allow you to remove default Microsoft Store packages from Windows 11 25H2. So once you update to this very new version when it's released to the general public, in the Pro version, there is a feature inside the Group Policy Editor that's going to allow you to remove some of these applications. And I'll show you exactly how it works in this video. So let's go to the Group Policy Editor right here. And we need to navigate uh, to this location here, which is Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates. Then we're going to come down to where it says Windows Components. Open this up. And then we're going to come down to where it says right here, if you look at App Package Development right here, we're going to click on App Package Development and open this up. Let me click on it. There we go. On the right hand pane, what we're looking for is remove default Microsoft Store packages from the system. It's one right here. So what we're going to do is double click on this. And now when we open this up, you'll see a list of applications. Now, why I don't give you this option to remove this by default in the installation part is beyond me. They're making you go into now Group Policy Editor and be able to turn it off from here and remove them from the system. So you can see right here, if we enable this feature, it says this policy is selected. Microsoft Store apps in the provided list will be uninstalled from the system. You can make adjustments to the default settings. Unselect apps in the list will not be removed. Default is disabled. I don't know why that's disabled by default. They should literally give you the option during the installation whether you want all of this bloat installed. Uh, during the installation of Windows, there should be an opt-out option which stops all of this bloat from getting installed here. So you can see Feedback Hub, Microsoft 365 Copilot, and um, also there's a bunch of other ones here. And it's all this sort of stuff here. So a lot of this stuff will be uninstalled. Now, you may be thinking, this is great. Microsoft have turned the corner and they are finally uh, listening to their customers, which is us. Unfortunately, even if you check mark all of this stuff, it's not going to uninstall it on this user account. You have to create a new user account. And during that building process of that new user account, it will then remove all of this stuff from the computer. So why don't they offer you this right during the installation part? Because it seems like you have to go all around the house is just to uninstall all of this stuff. It really does make no sense whatsoever why they would make you create a new user account and all of this will be uninstalled. Why don't they just do it during the installation part where you can opt out and all of this bloat won't be installed on the system. So let's go ahead and go through the motions here just so you can see the palaver you have to go through just to remove a few applications. So we're going to apply an OK right here. And this is now done. Now, remember also, you will need a Windows 11 Pro Edition or above to be able to use this feature because it's not in Home Editions. So if you have a Windows 11 Home, then unfortunately, you're not going to have this option available. And to be honest with you, there's better options out there available. And I'll show you that a little bit later on. So let's go to the command prompt by typing CMD here. Say yes to the user account control. And we're just going to confirm these changes. I don't think you have to do this, but I'm going to do it out of habit. So let's go ahead to GP update space forward slash force. And this will enforce the policies to be updated on this system. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Now you would have thought that this would remove them from this user account, but it doesn't. They're all still there and it's basically pointless because now what you're going to have to do is create a new user account and what you could do is create a new administrator account and then literally delete the old account. But what a palaver that is. So let's go ahead and go through the motions just so I can show you the half-hearted attempt from Microsoft to allow you to debloat all of the crap that they've uh, installed on the system. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into other users here and we're going to create a new user account by clicking add account. And we don't want to have this person sign in information. So we're going to click on this one because we want to have a local account. Wonder how long that feature is going to be there before they completely remove it. So we're going to add a new user here, put any username 
we'll just put test, click next, and that's done. So what we need to do now is sign out of this account and sign into the new account that we just created, all just to remove the bloat that they pre-installed on the system, which could have all been avoided if they just give you the option. So we're going to click on the account right here, sign out, and we're going to come down to the bottom on the left hand side, click on test or the user account that you created, click sign in, and it should now rebuild this new account for us with all of this applications removed. So I'll quickly speed this process up so I don't waste your time too much, but we're just going to go through here and turn off all of this stuff as well. Now, because we're creating a new account, you have to go through all of this as well. And there we go. We're at the desktop. And a lot of that stuff we uncheck marked is uninstalled. As you can see here, feedback and all the other stuff has been removed. How difficult was that? How hard have they made this process? It's ridiculous. I really don't see why they're making you jump through all of these hoops to be able to remove it. Now, of course, you can still go into the settings and remove it from there. But I'm just going to show you where this is residing inside the actual registry. So let's open up the registry editor here. And what we need to do is we're going to go into HKey Local Machine. And you may be thinking, do you know what? I can just add these registry keys in. But unfortunately, you can't even amend them once you're inside here. So let's go ahead and go to Software and open this up. And we're going to go down to Policies and then Microsoft here open this one up and we're going to go down to where it says windows let me just expand this a bit windows and then we're going to come down to where it says appx open that up and then you can see the re uh, remove default microsoft uh, store packages and there's a long list of them right here that's the ones we've just basically uninstalled so all it's done is just put a registry key inside here and you can see it says enabled because I've enabled that feature in the group policy editor. And that's Clipchamp and Bing News and Bing Weather, and Gaming App, Media Player and all of the other ones like Outlook. All of the stuff that you don't really want on the system. And you had to go through a bunch of hoops just to get those off. Now, there's plenty of other ways of doing this, which is a lot easier than the Microsoft's uh, half-hearted attempt to give you the option to remove this stuff but you can see them here. Now, let me go ahead. Now, if these, if some of them wasn't enabled, they would have a zero on them. But if you go to try to amend this right here and put zero to put it back and click OK, it says cannot edit the remove package error. So you can't do it. Now, this is a much simpler option. During the installation process, in the time and currency format, just go to English World, just like so, like this, when you're installing Windows. And what this will do is remove all of that bloat from the system. Click next, choose your keyboard and input method right here. So we don't need any sort of scripts or any programs. Just choose your language, choose the United Kingdom extended. We're going to agree to their terms and say, I don't have a key and then start to install. Now we'll speed this process up. You're going to need to select your operating system here and then accept their terms conditions. So I will skip through this process just to get to the point to show you exactly what it looks like when you use this method. Now, you may see this error coming up here by doing it. And this is the out of box experience region error. But don't worry about that. All you need to do here at this stage is click on skip and it will move on to the next step of the installation. So just click on skip if you're using this um, world English world method. Choose your keyboard layout right here and once you've done this it's going to check for some updates and you can create your account and basically go through the motions and get this installed so i'm going to skip all that and just get to the end part here so you'll be able to see uh, what it actually does so it says almost there and once this is installed you should see the desktop here and you can see all of that pre-installed bloat has been removed automatically so let me just quickly make the screen 1080p here so I can show you 1920 by 1080 click save there we go and let's take a look you can see a lot of this stuff has been removed from the computer there's none of it there then now there's still 
Copilot and a couple of other little bits like Microsoft News and some other bits. But guess what? Most of it is removed. And all you need to do here at this stage is go into your apps section and just uninstall those last couple of bits that you don't want. And that's it. You don't need to go through all of that palaver that Microsoft are trying to make you do just to remove it and then create new accounts. It's ridiculous. And there is applications out there as well that will do all of this from the desktop as well. Now, make sure you go into your country and region and change that back to your country and region from world to uh, English or whatever it is, United States, whatever your country is. Now, go into your settings panel right here. And again, you can go into your apps and remove all of the unwanted apps. So let me just go ahead and do that. If you don't want to install any sort of programs or use any sort of scripts or anything like that, you can do it manually. And it doesn't take that long if you use this method. And you can see some of the apps inside here. Uh, some of them like Get Started, you can't remove those. Uh, but the other stuff, you can just click on and uninstall it if you want to remove it from the PC. I'll just show you one so you get the general idea. Go into uh, Installed Apps here, and let's just say Copilot. Click on the three dots and click Uninstall. That's it. It's that simple. Or you can use an application. And you can do the same thing for P Feedback Hub. Rather than going into the Group Policy Editor, checking it and then creating a new account, which is an absolute palaver. I don't understand what Microsoft are doing there, but why waste all your energy making something that is so pointless when you can just give people the option to uh, opt out? Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.